son of a... Welcome to Plus Dive for November 2018. We're going to start off with the PS4 version of Bulletstorm, which is a uh, rather interesting first-person shooter with a uh, rather interesting option at the beginning that allows you to either disable colorful language or gore, so that was kind of neat. And sometimes it's kind of amusing how they censor what would otherwise be there, too. I always get more amused by censored cusses myself. But uh, I, it really grabs you quickly, which I enjoy. This, this part here was right by the beginning. But there are a couple of interesting mechanics to it. One is uh, that you've got a kick button, and you can kick them into environmental hazards. But uh, usually if you kick and then shoot, they'll just explode. Later on, you get a lash and you can pull them towards you or towards obstacles. Or you can do a nice little pull, kick, shoot combo. But uh, I enjoyed it, and you can too, because it's free this month with your PS Plus subscription. Yakuza Kiwami is next up on the list. Uh, this is part of... I, th I think it's supposed to be like a prequel uh, retelling of one of the older games. But uh, it's a fairly well-renowned series. Uh, the graphics are amazing. The gameplay is centered around a brawler, but uh, you've got lots of different fighting styles and uh, abilities, and you can you know, pick up environmental Daruma and beat people up with it. Um, you are a member of the uh, Japanese Mafia, also known as the Yakuza. And uh, you're, you're, the main character seems kind of interesting. He, he's got a fairly solid uh, moral stance. You know, here, this guy was not... Um, uh, repaying a loan, so he went and beat him up. I mean, obviously beating him up isn't the best thing, but he's not just randomly going out. It's kind of interesting. But uh, I have to say, though, the, the graphics in the cutscenes, whether it's in-engine or not, are really amazing. Like, you can see the, the, the textures of the clothes and uh, the textures of the skin and everything. It's really pretty quite fantastic. Yakuza Kiwami is the second PS4 downloadable this month. Shifting over to the PS3, we've got the Arcado series, a group of three games that are, uh, you know, simplistic looking, but oh, they're a lot of fun. This one is Arcado Jump. Uh, you need to get around the level collecting coins and defusing bombs before they blow up. The second one is Arcado Swap, which is a match four game, which was messing me up because I've played so many match three games that I, I've got those patterns ingrained in my head. And I'd be like, why isn't this disappearing? But it was pretty fun. Uh, the last one is Arcado Pixel, which reminds me a lot of Pix and Love Rush on the PSP. Uh, it's the same character, same company, but a very different game. This is very much a, uh, a, a platformer, but it's really slick. The music's great. I love the graphics, too. But... Uh, you also will occasionally find these little uh, hidden blocks. And you just need to find your way 
from uh, the start to wherever the destination is in the level. And once you accomplish that, you get a prize in this lovely little black and white pixelated form. Really kind of a charming little game. I definitely enjoyed it. All three are part of the Arcado series pack and available for free download on the PS3 this month. Predatory loans! Don't worry your pretty head about the consequences. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at that. Next up is Jackbox Party Pack 2 for the PlayStation 3. Um, it really is a fantastic party game. Um, you start up the game on the PS3, but then anybody can join in from all over the place as long as they've got that little code that's up in the corner of the screen. Um, you can have up to eight people usually play, but um, it was definitely a blast. Shout out to uh, Lady Kaiser and Buffalax Peebs and Link the Informer for helping me get the uh, footage today. Um, we're only showing off two of the games, but there are actually six different uh, games as part of the party pack. And uh, I definitely recommend it uh, if you just want to hang out and have a good time with some friends. Oh boy. The Jackbox Party Pack is available for free, but only on the PS3 this month. Yes, that is someone saying chink, chink, chink every time he hits the metal. Uh, next up, we're moving over to the PS Vita and a uh, charming little adventure game called Burly Men at Sea. Um, it's got a really neat little simplistic graphical style, but uh, I ran into like a divergence in the storyline fairly early on. So uh, it looks like this is a really kind of, you know, sweet little story with these three burly men and uh, their adventures at sea. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I recommend it. It's got a, a neat sense of humor. The sound design is great. It, it's, it's really a pleasant time if you're into, like, um, you know, point-and-click adventures. Burly Men at Sea is one of the Vita freebies, but it's available for cross-buy on the PS4 this month. Am I right? The next game up on the list is the second PS Vita freebie. This is Roundabout, starring the world's first revolving limousine driver, Giorgio. It's worse than I thought. I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. I never really thought I'd see uh, an actually well done FMV game that captures the camp of like the old 1990s style of FMV game. But it does it so well. I mean, the gameplay is weird and fun. It's, it's very, it's more of a puzzle almost uh, than just a simple driving game. But uh, the the, the cutscenes are just delightfully weird. Thanks, Roundabout is available for PS Vita and the PS4 for free this month. All right, here we go. Uh, last week I announced a uh, giveaway for a copy of Tetris Effect, and the winner of that is Peebs. Congrats, Peebs! You had actually expressed that you were really hoping you'd win, and you did. So, congratulations, I'll be getting your code soon. Everybody else, I appreciate that you're watching. Please like, subscribe, spread the word. 
And I will see you back here next week with another feature. <laughs>